to draw a cylinder attached to a block in two-point perspective we need to start with our top view and we're going to break up our top view into 30 using our 30 and 60 degree set square okay but again we've got to check the block that it's attached to is at a 45 degree angle for our two-point perspective so we have to keep our 45 degree set square there and then place our 60 30 degree set square on top of that to be able to break up our circle correctly so I'm going to use that to break up our circle using first of all 60 degree angle on both sides and then 30 degrees also on both sides And then of course a two center points on that way. And one there. Okay, so that's your first step. Go and break up your circle into 12 parts using your 30 and 60 degree set square. Then, once you've done that, you're going to have to go and extend every single one of those points okay, to be able to, uh, onto the picture plane, to be able to go and find them in your two-point perspective. Now, you can see here in the front view that I've drawn here that this over here is the height of my cylinder, and there's my wall. So, I'm going to use these heights over here to be able to get the correct height for my cylinder in my two-point. But for starters, I have to go and take each of these points and extend them. So I'm going to do one point at a time. It's always best to do one at a time so that you don't get yourself confused. So I'm going to take this point. I'm going to extend it onto my picture plane. And then project it straight down. And I'm going to start with the first surface that I'm going to see. So I'm going to start with the top of this cylinder. And I'm going to project the height of the cylinder across onto my extended line and then I'm going to project that point to my left hand vanishing point because this line was facing up and to the left so it goes to the left hand vanishing point now that is this line here so now I have to go and find this point on that line and to do that I go and project that point in the direction of my SP till it touches my picture plane and then I project it straight down onto that line that I projected to my vanishing point that point there okay, is then that first point of the side of my cylinder yeah, that's the first one. Then the next two, same thing. For this, I just need to form. This is going to include two points. This extension line goes through two points. Extend it onto my picture plane. Drop it down. Okay, onto the same height line. Take the, so yeah, same height line. Project that through to your left hand vanishing point again. And then again for both of those points, take them in the direction of your SP and onto your picture plane and then project them straight down onto that line to be able to find them clearly because you're going to start getting a lot of lines that are going to be projected down which might get a bit confusing okay so there's my first three points 
Now again, I'm going to keep on doing the same process over and over again until I've done it with all three points. Those two points line up. So I extend them onto my picture plane, project that down where it hits my height line. I'm going to project that across through to my vanishing point. And then again, I'm going to go and take each of those points and I'm going to project them from there onto my picture plane in the direction of my SP standing point and then where they hit the picture plane I'm going to project them onto that extended line to be able to go and get my next set of points Okay, next one, next two I should say, so that line extended, I'm just going to extend my other lines as well so long, make it a bit faster, and I'm going to project them down. You'll see that I'm projecting these down all the way till they touch the ground line because I'm going to need the point where they touch the ground line later on. So I'm just going to make sure that they all go all the way through down to the ground line. And then let's take those one at a time then from the height line through to my vanishing point and then the two points on that line. direction of my SP till I hit the picture plane and then again straight down onto my line mark them off there's the one there's the other one Okay, and then next two. Okay, so that's this line here. Take that, project it to my vanishing point, and then take those two points, project them both in the direction of my SP. Sorry, on one. This is where you've got to make sure you don't get yourself confused, it's not the wrong one. Okay, it's that point, direction of my SP, straight through onto my picture plane. Same with this point. And then project those two down from where they hit the picture plane onto the line. It's the one. There's the other one. Okay, and then two more times, two more lines to go. So I'm going to take this one, project it to my vanishing point, and then its two points. You'll see it's a repeat of the same process over and over again. You've just got to make sure that you keep track of the lines. Okay, so now I'm going to project that down and mark it off. And then that one down. Much easier to do one at a time. If you try and project them all at once, it will get very messy and very confusing. So rather take it one at a time as I'm doing here. That last one is one point. It's the last end point there. And project that down. 
Okay, there we go. So those are all of the top points of my cylinder. And now again, you take a French curve to go and join those all. I'm just going to sketch them together. You would use a French curve to go and join all of those points. But just so that you can see the cylinder form, at least the top of the cylinder form. Okay, that's what it would look like for the top. And then to go and get the base part of this, because okay, we still need the bottom part, we've only got the top part. Now we're going to take each of those points that we've got there, okay, and we're going to project those straight down onto our next set of height lines. Our height, of course, is going to be over here where it touches our baseline. So we again are going to do one point at a time. So we would take okay, where that first point was projected across and down where it hits the height line on the base there we're going to take that to the vanishing point and then simply project in the exact same that first point that we found over there straight down onto that line okay and that would be that first point our second point do the same thing again take that line to our vanishing point and then our second point over there, the two of them, one's over here, project that further down, that would give me a point there, and then this one over here, would give me a point over there. Okay, now that back one over there, all those back ones, I'm not going to project them down because it's not necessary, they're all at the back, you won't see them here. Okay, the next one is going to be off of this line so project that straight through to my vanishing point and then again go and just extend that next point down onto its line mark it off okay and then our next one would have been here Extend that down, walk off. Next one, okay, extend that down, walk off, and then the last two. I'm going to do those last two together. because I can easily follow that one over there that, that's the only one I'm going to need I'm not even going to need that last one because that last one sits at the back over there so there's no point in doing that okay now I can't go and draw that in yet because I don't quite know where my block is going to be so I need to go and find my block now okay and my block hits into my circle luckily for me right on one of the joining points so I know my block is going to if I take that down I know my blocks gonna sit on this line over here but first I need to get the height okay so that points already been extended across and down so there's the height line for the edge of that block so I can take the height of my block across okay onto that height line there and then take that point directly through to my vanishing point Okay, and if I follow that along to where my block was, is going to hit into my cylinder, that gives me a height over there. And then, of course, the bottom height of my cylinder will be, sorry, my block is going to be there at the bottom of the cylinder. So I can go and draw that in dark. There's a straight line. That's where the block will start. And then, of course, both of those lines can then just simply be taken through to my right-hand vanishing point. And then the end point up here, I can take through to my SP. So it hits my picture plane. Project that straight down. 
that of course then shows me where the end of the block's going to be over there I can draw the two top lines of the edge of that block in and then I just need to find where my block's going to go through at the back there so I can project that line through to that vanishing point take the back point of my block in the direction of my SP so it touches my picture plane project that straight down that will show me exactly where my block is going to stop in that corner over there and then to find that back line I can simply take that point projected to my right hand vanishing point and extend it until it hits the until it hits the edge of my cylinder there that shows me where that part of my block will go and then my cylinder over here of course now is going to form a little bit of a curve over here okay as it hits into the block but that'll only be up to a point over here okay but I need to be able to find that point and that point is going to be where this point over here hits into the height of my block okay which is down there there's the height line of my block coming across that line is coming from that point there which hits into the side of my block I need that so I'm going to project that across at the correct height and that then shows me where that point would come down to to give me the little piece of arc over there which would be formed by my block hitting into the cylinder and I'd have a dark line there at the end of my cylinder just there that little little piece rounded part over there and then of course this part here would be the base of my cylinder which would come only up until there where it meets up with my block and then I'd have a dark line that would follow straight down here finish off my cylinder and there we have it